God, that's so cool looking. It's so bizarre. To me, it looks like we're giant. And then everything below us looks miniature. I mean, look at those lights. Those look like people's lights. You know, they're windows, but we're so big compared to them. And I know our vehicle's not very big at all. It's like about as tall as us. So the scale of this feels so bizarre. Like those look like streets on the ground. In fact, they even seem to have crosswalks, I think. That's really strange. Feels like a miniature. I'm from Cloudpunk. I have your packages. Those are no use to me. I can't deliver to the outposts anymore. None of our vehicles work. The fuel lines froze. You should keep your engine running. Did you get that, Camus? Yes. I will keep a couple clock cycles free and monitor the temperatures. How do you live here? It's so cold. What do you care? I asked, didn't I? Whatever. Just leave the packages here. Go back to your city. It's not my city. Sure it is. You took this job because you were curious, right? Welcome to your poverty, Safari. This is our life. I'm not even from the city. The Eastern Peninsula? Up until last week. I see. Sorry. I thought you were just another Nivali. My name's Retsu. Rania. Cora knows what you must think of the big stack. That's what we call the city down here. It's the worst place on the planet. And we cling to the bottom like barnacles. And you know what? It's a hell of a lot better down here. We made this place a kind of home. You've been here a while? Yeah. I wasn't the first, though. Old Zig traveled out here over a hundred years ago. He set up the first moisture farm, collecting heat for his home from the vents. Folk had tried to live here before him, but he was the first to realize you couldn't live on rations alone, and you had to be ready for the chills. So what was Old Zeke's secret? Zeke realized you could cultivate the algae pits for warmth when the vents cycled cool. He realized you could mill the mold dust into flour. He figured out how to cross the steam lanes with a suit made from old abandoned hovers insulation layers. I swear, they say no one alive can survive the wastelands between the cities. But if anyone could, it was Zeke. And you took his place as the boss? I'm the community leader, sure. But I'm not the longest surviving settler, not by a long shot. The elders living beyond the Far Rim say they knew Zeke's grandkids. Tales of Zeke surviving, thriving even out here in the vents, attracted a lot of folk that wanted to live off the grid. Away from corp security, and the lights, and the headaches. Everyone has headaches in the big stack, you know. I don't. You will. Everyone gets them eventually. Doesn't the air smell cleaner down here? Every time I breathe in, it feels like my lungs are going to freeze and shatter. Well, that is the problem right now. This is supposed to be summer. How can it be summer here? The warm season. The vents cycle between warm and cold over a predictable time period. Or at least they used to. It seems like all the maintenance systems are going mad recently. We have a saying here, Cora provides. Well, right now all Cora is providing is a new ice age. What do you think Cora is? 
Cora is everything, and all of us. Cora is the provider, and the caretaker, and the disciplinarian. Cora holds at a closed fist, and we must push out our chin. Sometimes the fist holds wood, sometimes the fist strikes us, and yet we must endure. So Cora is your... Salvation, and right now Cora has sent us you. I'm not really religious like that. I think you have to help yourself. Be independent. You can't lecture us on independence while you live in Nivalis under the watch of the corpse. You said you cling like a... what did you call it? A barnacle? Hmm. Harsh and fair words, Rania. I know you have seen Cordus light, though. It glows from you. Am I wrong? Who knows? So, you want me to deliver these parcels? I would appreciate it. We really are starving. Three families. I can give the coordinates to your vehicle. Okay, I'll get going then. I'll see you on the way back. Cora willing. Be cautious around my brethren, Ronia. They live like sculptures of ice. Fragile and temporary. So interesting where and how these people live. Reminds me of those organisms that manage to live on the undersea vents, like deep, deep in the ocean. They're literally using mold and, and algae and vents. Like the vents dictate their seasons. That's so interesting. Was sent to deliver supplies? Sent by who? Cloudpunk. I don't know who that is. You from the big stack? Get out of here. You need this. It's food. I don't need nothing from you. Retsu said... Retsu sent you? Yes, he said you should take this. What did you say? Give it here. They don't trust us very much. I bet they have their reasons, Camus. I brought you supplies. Who sent you? Retsu. Well, okay then. I ain't seen no one from the stacks down here in years. Decades even. You know, maybe you can use this. You put it in the wall and it gives you a token. Or something like that. Uh, thanks. It It's just five numbers on a bit of paper. That's right. Thank you kindly for the supplies. Now we even. Well, thank you kindly. 
That's probably for the holocache terminals, right? 1C652. If that's all you need to get money out of a holocache terminal, that is a very insecure system. <laughs> Just a delivery driver. Well, I don't know if anybody has said this to you before, but I'll say it now. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I mean, you're welcome. I get back to the city as quick as possible, lady. There's a chill coming. I can feel it in my bones. Anyone outside is gonna get charted. Go quickly, and don't think twice about coming back here. You hear? Okay. Good luck. Retsu. Why is he not moving? Oh no. Camus, find us somewhere to park. The security overrides won't let me. The temperature is too low. It is not safe to land now. If you got out of the Hova, you would feel very cold. Then you'd be stuck, like the man. He's not stuck, Camus. He's gone. He can't be gone. He can't move. Dead, Camus. He's dead. Aww. Fragile and temporary. Let's go. There's nothing else we can do. Looks like they just froze mid-walk. Jesus. There's one more character all the way over here. Oh, I guess it's too cold to get out, right? So we can't? I am getting a message request. Why are you getting a message request? If there's a message request, it should come to my comm. The message is addressed to the Hova. So it's someone I don't know. Patch it through, I guess. My ship had finally come in, but in this case, the ship was a battered Hova. Redemption comes in all shapes and sizes, sometimes with bumps, dents, and a dime store paint job. What? Who is this? The dame wanted a name. What did I have left to lose? And yeah, nothing but my hat. I let her know that I was Huxley, but I uh, left off the private investigator. She'd know the deal soon enough. Um, so you're a private investigator and your name is Huxley. The dame was as sharp as my ex-wife's parting words before she left me and moved back in with her mother. She'd pegged me as a PI, but I uh, still needed her help. Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket, if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing this channel now. Please stop calling me. The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold, I was getting frostbite. I uh, had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all on red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. The dame sounded hot as ice, but Pasta's story was so sad, it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? I might actually help him if he wasn't so annoying. I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my... 
I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Pasta was done for. When the dead corpse finished with her, God knows what would be left. Dead corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? I have located his signal. I have a nav point. We could pick him up. Should I display the nav point? Hey Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. Are you really a PI trying to save a girl from a debt corp? Yes, is what I wanted to say. But the dame was suspicious, and who could blame her? Here I was, some abandoned PI android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. In her position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat. But here's the kicker, the story was true. Fine, Camus, give me an F point. We'll take him with us and drop him off on the way. Oh. So they're in the hollows. Thought that was where we are now, but it's not. I need to repair my vehicle. It actually has visible damage on the front. You can... I don't know if you... You probably can't see it. It's really dark, but there's like cracks all over the window and stuff. Yeah, 280 to repair it. Man. Five four two four four. Transfer limbs from Huxley's hollow cash account. Uh, how much? All of it? I, g I guess. I don't know. Settled the bill. Surely the dame would drop me like a bad penny now. This is a lot of money. I can drop you somewhere else if you like. Why are we helping him more? He's kind of growing on me. Hmm. The dame had a heart of gold. I asked her to drop me at my office. On the way, I tell her about Pashta. Maybe she'd fall for me like I'd fallen for her. I do not like this. Where is this office of yours, Huxley? We were headed towards my office in Old Town. I gave the dame a nav point to help her out. Hold on, Pashta. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pashta, anyway? What happened to her? It was a story so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lawyer cry. It all started with a call from a small-time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended a bar downtown, but he had some bad debts. The debt corp took his cash. But when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter, too. He had a record, so Corpsec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best, cheapest P.I. So the debt corpse can abduct children now? The Dane didn't realize who she was dealing with. The debt corpse had hearts blacker than my morning cup of joe. Huxley, were you always like this? Did something happen to you? The Dane thought I had a screw loose. I guess her instincts were good. Truth was, there was a time when I sounded just like every other humdrum android out there. Now, I played a role so well I was stuck in it. My programming was uh, messier than my accounting. Here's the kicker. I was a better investigator now than I'd ever been.
your office is all boarded up. Did you get fired? The dog was half right. I was fired, but that place was where I slept. So I, I guess I was homeless too. Eviction was the illness, but what was the cause? Probably not paying your rent. <laughs> There's a note on your door. Shouldn't you read it? Who knew how hot this place was? I was sure I'd been tailed. If I stepped up to that doorway, I might get a knife in the back or a bullet in the head. I think you're being overdramatic. I'll check out the note. What if it is not safe? I'll take my chances. I want to see what this note says. Oh, this is the opposite way I want to go, isn't it? Or is it? I think so. We need to get to that other elevator. Okay, I can see the note. It says, go to the blue chewy jazz bar and ask for the smoking man. We're not taking him there too, are we? I couldn't ask the dame for much more. She'd already stuck a neck out for me. We can drop him off at the bar. It's close by. It was a dive, but it was the kind of place you'd go for answers. Who had left me that note? Who was the smoking man? And where would I... We have an incoming call. Control? No. It is for Huxley. I knew who was calling. This would be bad. Put it through, I guess. What in Cora's name you think you're doing, you pile of junk? Where have you been? The client was mad, and with good reason. He paid good money, but I'd been stuck down in the hollows following a lead. The lead went cold, and I was trapped down there with no comm signal and no cash. You wasted my money and my time. If you don't find my daughter, I'm infecting you with a logic virus. I have hacker friends. Hey, what the hell? I don't know who you are, but you better leave this idiot to do his job. I was gonna save that girl, but not because of the threats. Truth was, I was the only one searching for her. 24 hours, then your time's up. I want my daughter back, but if she's gone, she's gone. I'll live with that. But what I won't stand for is some android stealing my money. Get to work. He hung up. We're close to the bar. I hope the dame would come with me. Was that too much to ask? Uh, yes. I'll come to the entrance, but after that, we need to get back to work. And if Control calls with another job at any point, you're on your own, Huxley. The offer was as fair as the spin of a roulette wheel. I rolled the dice and took a gamble. You don't use dice in roulette. I know, Camus. Just let it go. Are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The chump had an attitude and a smell to match. They didn't call him Smoking Jojo because he was cute. His circuit boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burnt out, overheating and underperforming. He didn't like the dame, but he knew me. We went way back, but Jojo's lips were normally sealed tighter than... 
My name is Rania. I picked him up in the hollows and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <coughs> but as you can see, I ain't got long left. You could fry an egg on my processor. Can't you get help? Repairs? <coughs> nah. They don't make the parts for an old model like me no more. <coughs> and I ain't got no limbs anyway. Point is, if I want to do some good, I better do it now while I can. Huxley, I know something about this girl you're looking for. I wanted to hear what the old bucket had to say, but how did he know I was looking for Pasta? You've been asking around town. Word gets out. I was playing a private gig a few months back. The pay was real good, and I'm still the best horn player in town. Even if I don't look too good these days, what with all the rust and all, while I was there, <clears throat> I overheard some things. This ex-corp goon called Raguan was there, talking about how he got screwed over. And? Look, I don't like squilling like this. <coughs> Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird, but would we dance to his beat? Huxley, please be quiet for a minute, okay? I can't believe I'm getting sucked into this. So what does this Raguan guy have to do with Pashta? Well, this Raguan guy's drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. <coughs> near enough getting into a fight with some waiter who's just trying to serve the champagne. In the middle of mouthing off, Raguan says he's dangerous and he can make people disappear. He says he's not to be messed with because the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. Then he starts crying. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. But he says the name. I was the only one that heard him. But he takes a drink, and through his tears, he keeps saying, Sorry, Pasta. Sorry. <coughs> now, ain't that a thing? That's a lead, at least. The trail had gone cold for a while, but with JoJo's help, we'd picked it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. I'll ask Camus back in the Hava. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. still here? Why is he still here? We're just taking him to one more place. Why? The dog still didn't trust me. I guess it could smell desperation, and I reeked of it. Camus, we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called Raguan. Can you find that somehow? I could. Well, are you going to? Yes, I will do it. Searching. Searching. There was a news story in the Marrow Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Ragwan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing CorpSec without the proper clearance from board of directors. That doesn't help us find him. Sounds like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Did the... you mean photos? Camus, was there a picture of Ragwan in the Holovids? Yes. He looked... Sad. I'll bet. But was there anything in the background? Searching. There is a building in the photo. Cross-reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds like where a CEO would stay. Let's assume the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us an F point. For that, though, I want those remaining two punch cards for Evelyn. There's one. No, control! Hey, kid, you busy? Yes, I'm busy. No, not at all. Completely free. Good. I, uh, well, I don't have a job for you. I was just wondering if... You know what, control? Can I get back to you? I'm just picking up another coffee. All right, kid. Uh, all right. Um, I'll have a job soon, though. No rush, control. Chat soon. I started to feel like I was holding the dame back. I didn't want to get her in trouble. It's fine. Let's just see what we can find at Raguan's apartment. Huh. 
Huh. Thank you. Dot. There's the 20th. Excuse me, I can't help but notice you have an artificial hand. Maybe you can help me find someone. Yeah? Who are you looking for? Someone who lost a hand. I found this in the trash. <laughs> well, I think you got the wrong guy, yes? I got this beauty last week. Pure titanium. Don't want no flesh. I'm going the other way. Did you go to the limb clinic? How would I find someone who had lost a hand? They're not supposed to just throw these away, right? Don't know. Don't care about flesh, to be honest, lady. Damn it. You really want to help? Maybe let me see. I know the body mod squad around this way. Maybe I can get it back to them. Some mothers like to keep their old flesh. Here it is. Well, damn, this is mine. Seriously? Yeah, it has my ring on it. They said they was gonna donate it to someone. Can I have it back? Sure. Oh no, I don't want to touch that. Can you just take the ring off and give it to me? I guess. Ew, here you go. Thanks, lady. You can keep the hand. Great. Have some limbs, too, as a reward like. I really love this ring. <laughs> well, glad to get that out of my inventory. There's a lot of items here. Well, that's dozens of people dead. Engineer, are you ever going to tell me your name? Sure. Call me a uh, painter. You've given up then? You know, for a while there, I really thought I was onto something. I followed a lead down to the vents. I didn't expect to find all these people. What was the lead? An old master control program. I found a data cable that stretched out of the city. It led there. What did it lead to? Nothing. I'd hoped to find some old rogue mainframe spitting out garbage to the main infrastructure subsystems. Maybe it would be as simple as turning it off, then on again. It wasn't that simple? <laughs> Nothing ever is. What will you do now? The city needs people who are trying to make things better. I know. And I, I might go back to work. I just... I can't see another disaster and feel that weight on my shoulders. Could I have stopped it? Did I cause it? <laughs> it's, it's too much. I understand. See you around, painter. See you around, driver.
good. Pretty good. Thanks. I love I don't understand how to get to the other side. It doesn't seem to connect. I guess there's just a parking place over there, right? Which I won't be able to see until I get in the vehicle. Check out this place, too. Reconstruction zone. If Evelyn wants another 20 cards, we're going to have a head start on it. How many do we have? We got six extra. Yeah, looks like everything that could possibly be a punch card in this zone, we've found. Let's go to Evelyn first. I have more of the cards. Maybe enough? Everything is becoming clearer. Is that good? I feel incredible pain. I'm sorry, Evelyn. What do you remember? Dr. Zizic and I had an argument. She said I should forget what happened. Put it behind me and move on. I wanted to die. Do you remember what it was that made you feel like you couldn't go on? At the periphery, I met someone. Someone I cared very deeply for. Did something happen to them? Yes. They fell in love. With who? With me. So what was the problem? I cared for them deeply, but I could not love them. You shouldn't feel guilty about that. You do not understand. I could not love them, no matter how much I wanted to. I am not built to feel it. I see. But if you cared for them, then that's... It is not the same as loving them. What I felt was like... It was like being able to taste, but not swallow. Being able to see the sun, but not feel its warmth on my face. I was walking towards a deep, blue, infinite sea. But the tide was rolling out, and no matter how fast I ran, there was always sand beneath my feet. All I wanted to do was swim, but for me, there was only an endless shore. I still don't get it. Some androids can't love, and yet still they feel whole. Some can, and they can feel everything. For me, it is much worse. I can feel the hole inside me where love should be, and I can feel that it is not there. Do you remember anything else about the periphery? About Dr. Zizic? 
I remember little. I struggle to picture their face, but I remember that I was the one that posted the punch card under your door. The first one. Why? I asked Dr. Zizic to change my core programming, to forbid me from searching for the lost memories. I knew you traveled through the city. You might find them. You might help me recover my memories. So you lied to me. Do you understand why? Do you? No, but I want to. Find the last batch, so just one more batch. We've already got seven of them. Do I want to spend money on these things, or do I want to save it for the, like, bionic arm? I thought we could buy the bionic arm from here, but it's not in the list. Nice. Let's get the pizza subscription, at least. Oh, cool. Perhaps we should have a fridge to put the pizza in? Sweet. Let's just get everything. Awesome. Oh, I love this. Our old Hova. Hava. Ooh! Pretty. <laughs> and there's our pizza. Starting to look like a home. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to investigate Ragawan's apartment.